plenty of people use their toilet time as a good way to catch up on their Facebook feeds or play a little Candy Crush, but they probably shouldn't, experts say. And not just because it covers their phone and germs. Checking our phones for new TikToks and texts is so much a part of our daily lives that we feel disconnected if we're away from them for too long. That means they accompany us everywhere, including some very private places. Don't deny it, you've used your phone in the bathroom recently, haven't you? A 2021 survey from sanitizing company BioGuard shows that a startling 73% of people have used their devices while actually sitting on the toilet or standing at a urinal. Breaking it down by demographic, members of Gen Z are the worst offenders, with 93% of respondents between ages 18 and 29 admitting to texting or playing games while doing their bathroom business. It seems like an innocent enough pastime. For generations, people have been finding ways to occupy themselves in the toilet. Building a city and forge of empires isn't that much different from flipping through a magazine or doing a crossword puzzle. But using your phone on the toilet for extended periods of time can be more harmful than you realize, aside from the risk of, you know, losing it. I mean, I don't like lose it, lose it. I just like, I see it fall into the toilet. The habit could put you at risk for illness and infections. It can even make it more difficult to go to the bathroom in the first place. Experts who spoke to the Washington Post explained that the position you assume to have a bowel movement puts pressure on the veins around your anus, which can lead to hemorrhoids. So if you're still sitting on the toilet playing a game after you've done your business, you could be setting yourself up for a lot of pain and itching down there. Another risk is that you may be interfering with your natural process of peristalsis, the contractions in your digestive system that help push out the excrement. If you're already prone to constipation, this can make it worse. And yes, there's the ickiness factor too. According to The Healthy, your phone is pretty much a germ magnet as it is, but using it in the bathroom exposes it even further to bacteria and pathogens from the germ-laden water that sprays when you flush. Sure, you wash your hands afterward, but then you contaminate them again as soon as you pick up the phone. The outlet quotes a study from London in which 16% of cell phones tested for pathogens were found to be contaminated with E. coli, the bacteria that can cause infections that result in nausea, vomiting, and bloody diarrhea. Experts who spoke to Metro UK recommended not taking your phone into the bathroom at all, though particularly into public restrooms. If it's absolutely necessary, try minimizing the damage by touching your phone with only one hand while using the other to wipe and flush. Wash your hands thoroughly, then sanitize your phone by wiping it down with a slightly damp soapy cloth. You could also disinfect it daily, but the FCC adds that, while disinfectant wipes will remove any bacteria, over time, the chemicals can strip the phone screen of its protective covering. Don't linger in the bathroom either. If you're not actively going to the bathroom, you shouldn't stay on the toilet for more than 10 minutes. Your cell phone is already bad for your health on a number of counts. You can suffer eye strain from squinting to scroll through your email. It can also cause headaches and neck pain. Excessive usage can even result in mental health issues. According to Butler Hospital, overuse of mobile phones is associated associated with a variety of conditions, including depression, anxiety, FOMO, and phone addiction. So maybe leave yours outside the bathroom. Try new ways to entertain yourself. I'm in the bathroom and I forgot my phone. Ask me some trivia questions.